All right guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make any Ford returnless style fuel system returnless, which means uh, your Ford has one straight line to the fuel rail, it uh, gets pressurized by the variable speed pump and the driver that comes with the computer and we're going to, if you want to eliminate that and run a return line to your tank, I'm going to show you guys how to do that today. So let's get into today's video. All right, first things first, you're gonna need two parts and I'm gonna have the um, items in the description. That is this. So before we get into it, this is a very important part. So I'm gonna back up and show you guys what this is. This is basically a 2000 Mustang with a four valve, 4.6 swapped out of a Marauder. And what this is, is the nitrous block that you sit, the, um, sit on the fuel rail and it has an outlet on both sides. One on the front, one right in the back. I just blocked that one off. And what that does is it not it allows nitrous to get fuel pressure. So this that sits on top of it is the what do you call this thing again? This is the fuel rail pressure sensor and has a vacuum to it. As you can see, it's not hooked up at all because we don't use that style anymore. And what we have the hose on the front of this nitrous block run to is a fuel pressure regulator so super simple you just need this nitrous block pretty cheap fuel pressure regulator vacuum hose for the fuel pressure regulator inlet line for the regulator outlet line so it really is that simple to have an uh, aftermarket fuel pressure regulator uh, on any of these Ford returnless um, systems there's many added advantages of actually having these uh, fuel systems um, to have a return line, make it uh, so that it's a return style fuel system. But super simple, one nitrous block, one fuel pressure regulator. And then you have a line that I ran inside the car with my wire loom. So one hose goes right to the back. Let me get this trunk up. Now, this is where it got tricky for me. So, there is um, a fuel line. That's a, um, a breather from the tank. This is disconnected underneath. This does not no longer run to my tank, but this used to run from come up and go back into the neck. And all I did was I cut it, and the inlet side to the neck is where I ran the um, return side for the fuel rail so all of my fuel it builds the 40 psi pressure that i wanted to build and then the rest is spit back into the tank through the filler neck so super simple setup and if you have a very clean vehicle because this is basically a drift missile if your vehicle is very clean and you want to keep it that way instead of just cutting this and closing it off you can create a t and put a t in the line a hose a hose and then a t bob and then run it back to the tank that way so that all of your emission stuff, all of the um, fumes and all that stuff runs the exact same way. So super simple, very easy setup, just very easy to install. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, one nitrous block, no matter what, uh, like if you have a Coyote or if you have a 4.6 dual overhead cam, single overhead cam, once it's a Ford returnless system, all you have to do is look for a nitrous block because nitrous is always going to need fuel pressure. That block is always going to sit on the fuel rail and uh, instead of running it to the nitrous, um, I guess whatever nitrous setup that it's supposed to be for because you can buy it separately, you run it to a fuel pressure regulator, run the fuel pressure regulator to the tank and that's pretty much it. So the reason why I did my own uh, from returnless to return style is because I took my motor out of a Marauder as a four valve, it was returnless. And it had a driver module that drove the pump from 100% to 30% or however it was, based on you were driving, based on how you were driving, it would um, variably, is that a word? It would change the speed of the pump based on how you're driving. So to eliminate that system, I was getting 100% 
fuel pressure at the fuel rail and I didn't want that, I wanted 40. So I looked online, I saw a video on YouTube actually um, of some guys using a regulator um, on top of a funny looking block but they didn't have a description on where you could buy it so I just kind of basically copied that and use a um, fuel uh, adjustable fuel pressure regulator instead of using like that stock OEM style which in this is much better especially if you're going to be uh, upgrading or boosting or supercharging anything like that so that's basically why I did it I needed to bring that fuel pressure down so that is how you turn any returnless fuel system for Ford into a return style so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe if you want to see more on this four valve swap uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications so you don't miss a video I'll catch you guys on the next one